Okay, welcome everyone to the channel. I'm Mr. Gingerman. Uh, the sun is directly behind my head. That's not very good, is it? Um, okay, so I've been down for the weekend and it's been terrible. Absolutely atrocious weather. Um, not really got a lot of fishing done, so uh, not really sure what's going to even happen now. Down at Ferry Bridge, I've tried to fish, but it's just pointless trying to fish. 19, 20 mile an hour winds. So, um, decided that that was a waste of time, so I'll give that a go tomorrow. Hopefully I can make a video for tomorrow. Um, but whenever I make that video, or if I do make a video, that will be for like, that will be uh, out for at least two weeks, so. Yeah, we'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, spin the camera around and we'll see what happens. Um, Sorry if it doesn't seem like I'm overly enthusiastic. This weekend has sucked quite dramatically. Wrong weekend to come down, but I come down when I'm available to come down. So, but we'll let the camera run and we'll see what we can catch, see what uh, happens. So yeah, I'll spin it around and we'll see what happens. So the rod that I'm using today at this moment is the Senna Major Craft 5 to 18 gram lure rod. I've got 23 pound braid on a 1000 FX Shimano reel um, with I think a 15 pound sort of uh, monofilament leader with a 7 gram lure. So we'll give it a go, we'll see what happens. I'm going to put my gloves on now, and no doubt people will be like, oh, what are you wearing gloves for? Well, first things first, I don't like touching the fish, which is ironic really, because I enjoy fishing. That and I fed up against stabbed with hooks. If it prevents me from being stabbed by a hook, I'll wear a glove. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I had a little change. I've got this seven gram pink and silver uh, long casting lure. It's a Sandil Jerk Minnow. So we'll give that a go, see what happens. Okay, welcome back. Um, yeah, change locations. 
Let's see if we can. Yeah. All right. Location change. Um. Yeah. Things are not going quite so well as I would like. So I won't get anything at Ferry Bridge. So I've decided to come. Still in uh, Portland Harbour. Um, but uh, by Castle Cove. I have no idea what's going to happen. The wind is coming. Uh, it's still southwesterly, I believe. So it's coming straight towards the side of me. So I have no idea if I'm going to get any birds' nests. I do have another reel with me just in case I do start to struggle. Um, but yeah, let's try and catch some bass. Seven gram, way too light. Right. Let's go for a ten gram yellow soft plastic. Alright, so I'm going to have a little walk around, um, see what happens. Uh, if I catch, I will obviously let the line out and uh, come back and hit record. Alright, welcome back. Huh. So, um, the Ron Thompson rod is, um, well, now in two pieces. Two pieces that it shouldn't be in, so uh, that can go in the bin. Um, that snapped as I was reeling in, so good fun, good fun. All right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I will deal with that in, in, in a minute. Or should I just deal with it now? I'll deal with it now. Right. Bring you back when yeah something happens, other than breaking stuff. Right. Sadly, uh, no fish being caught at the minute. Um, I'm going to pack the camera away, uh, walk back down to the actual beach and uh, if someone does crop up then I'll take a photo the Lula, I'll take a photo of it or I'll just get the camera out, I'm not really sure yet but we'll see what happens. To bring you back, uh, well if I catch some up obviously I'll show up but uh, this sucks man, this really does suck. Do you know what, it gets you to that point where uh, you're like so close to just calling it a day, quitting, never coming back out again. But hey, right, let's press on. Oh, right. are we recording? Are we good? I think we're set up. I don't know. Find out. Right. Oh dear. <laughs> 